reliability tests in SPSS using Chromepax Alpha equation for a five point Likert scale questionnaire or a survey. The test will measure the internal consistency of items and whether the questionnaire is reliable and if the uh, survey or questionnaire is repeated on different time and date with the same group of participants uh, their responses will be similar that's indicate reliability and the way to evaluate and assess a questionnaire is to perform a reliability test using the formula that has been generated by Chromepax and it's called Chromepax Alpha Equation uh, that is equal to K divided by K minus 1 K stands for the total number of items or questions multiplied by uh, bracket 1 minus the sum of the variance for each individual items divided by the variance for the total score achieved by the participant. Uh, the value that is generated from the Chromepack or Chromepax Alpha ranges from 0 to 1. 0 means that the questionnaire is unreliable and a value of 1 for Alpha means that the uh, survey or questionnaire is a hundred percent reliable. Here in this uh, SPSS I had inserted uh, data taken from a questionnaire that has been um, answered by 20 participants who gave their opinions uh, on 20 questions 20 items item number one to item number 20 and their responses was inserted as a score based on the five point likert scale from one to five one indicates that the participant is strongly disagreeing with the statement or the question uh, the five value reflects a strong agreement with the statement a value of three means that the participant is neutral to evaluate and assist the quality of the questionnaire or survey reliability test based on Chromepax alpha can be used and performed here in SPSS the way to do that first is to calculate the total score achieved by the participant, i.e. to count all or add up or combine all the scores uh, achieved or reported by each individual participant for each individual item, i.e. combining, combining the values uh, um, for all the items for each individual participant so to do that to do this first step first click on transform then click on compute variable and in the compute variable we are going to generate a variable or a column of data and we call it total score and to do the total score is first to add all the values here and to do that is to select on the function group click on all then scroll down to statistics and then from statistics use the function or the command for sum drag that into the numeric expression so we're going to combine and add the value for each individual participant. So see here the command is sum between brackets and then we are going to add the first 
item here separated by the comma and then add the second item so we're going to repeat separated by comma and we're going to insert the third until the item number 20 every time inserting we insert the uh, item has to be followed by a comma insert comma and then item number seven so we have two three four five seven then eight nine comma ten for the rest of the items item number 14 15 comma 16 comma 17 and then comma 18 and then item number 19 comma item number 20 so we have placed all the items between the brackets separated by comma comma if we click on uh, okay a new data variable is generated on the far right hand side this represent the combination of all the scores for each row or for each participant and i'm going to do a few editing on that uh, column or variable by clicking on variable view and i'm going to reduce the column width to six and make the scores center and reducing the decimals into zero once the total score is calculated for each participant the next step is to transpose this data move these items into this side and then the id for each participant into the uh, other part here upper part and the way to do that is to click on data transpose and then in transpose i'm going to um, select the variables from item number one select a you select this and also inc include the total score variable in it move it to the variable variables box and then in the uh, name variable going to move the id into that box and if i click on ok again a uh, data view is generated now the items are in uh, here in this case are inserted in rows and the student id is in columns or variables label and i'm going to do a few editing for this data transpose data the first one is to reduce the column width into six and then to align the data into the or the scores into the center for all the data and then i'm going to change also the labeling of the variables by clicking on the column here then control find and then replace and i'm going to replace the k underscore with an s for student replace all release all has been renamed by labeled as s1 to s20 student number one to student number 20. if i close that and go to the data view again these are labeled here as s1 to s20 and on the column here item number one to item number 20 in addition to the total score so now we had done the second step the third step is to try to uh, determine the values for each component of this formula k is the total number of items or questions which is 20 for the 
variance for the items or each question we need to calculate that and then add the add the variance for all the item together items together and then divide that by the total score variance and if we go back again here to the um, data view in SPSS I'm going to calculate the variance for all the items with the total score and the way to do that is to click on transform compute variable and then I'm going to generate a target variable call it variance and uh, I'm going to use a function group by clicking on all and then scroll down to statistical and then select the variance command and drag it up to the numeric expression again we're going to do the same thing calculating the variance for all these uh, variables from s1 to s20 and uh, the way is to insert this between each item between the brackets And say the S1 first, separated by comma. And say the S2 by comma, S3 and S4 and S5 and then S6 and then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 separated by comma every time you enter a variable you separate that by a comma and then 16 17 comma 18 comma 19 comma 20 so we had inserted all these variables between the bracket from S1 to S20. If I hit the OK button, a value is another target variable is generated on the far right hand side that calculate the variance for each individual item. For item number 1 to item number 20 in addition to the variance for the total score. So the variance for the total score is this value and the variance for each individual item is this value. To, uh, I'm going just to do a little bit of editing here by um, making this into the center and then reducing this into six. Into six and um, back again to the data view. I'm also going to reduce the decimals for these scores here by clicking on converting this into zero, zero decimal, but keeping the variance with two decimal points. So we have now most of the or all the values for the part of the equation. We have the variance for each individual items. We have the variance for the total score. We need to find out the sum of the variance for all the 20 items. To calculate the uh, sum of the variance for the items, we need to add up all these values. First of all, I'm going to uh, control X remove this value from here place it into the equation here in this equation as this is the total score variance and I'm going to replace it here by copy and paste and back again to the um, data view here and to calculate the sum of the variance for the items click on analyze click on descriptive statistics click on frequencies and then click on statistics and select the sum command here click on continue and we're going to 
calculate the sum for the variance uh, column or target uh, uh, variable and I'm going to untick the display of frequency if I click on OK a table here generated sh showing the sum of the variance for all the items from item number 1 to item number 20 which is equal to 27.1 approximately so I'm going to and this is this represent the upper part of the formula so it is 27.1 so far we have calculated the variance for the total score and the sum of variance for all the items the next step is to calculate and determine the compact alpha uh, following the equation uh, as given here in this formula uh, for k here k represent the total number of items which is 20 divided by um, 20 minus 1 equal 19 uh, at this stage we need to use a calculator here i have a, a calculator and I'm going to use the calculator to determine the Cronbach alpha, Cronbach's alpha value. Need to calculate the value between these two brackets. 1 minus 27.1 divided by 119.63 equal to this value. We're going to multiply that by 20 equal then divide that by 1 9 and a value of 0.81 is generated so the alpha value here is equal to 0.81 what does this value mean this value means that the questionnaire or the survey is 81% reliable. The table here shows the Cronpax alpha value and the level of reliability. If the alpha value is equal to 0.9 or greater, then the reliability is excellent for a questionnaire. If a survey has a Cronpax alpha of a range between 0.8 and 0.89, then the reliability is good. Uh, reliability will be acceptable when the range for alpha is between 0.7 and 0.79 or 0.79. The questionnaire will be considered questionable when the alpha value is in the range of 0.6 2.69 and the survey would be ha would have a poor reliability when the alpha value is between 0.5 and 0.59 and the questionnaire or a survey will be unacceptable or unreliable when the Cronpax alpha value is less than 0.5 So this is the way to evaluate and assess the reliability of a questionnaire or a survey based on the um, Cronbach's alpha equation.